morning everybody just see if anyone will join hi everyone hope you can hear me okay i'm just having a little sip of tea before we start hope you've all had a brilliant saturday morning so far it's lovely sunshine here for once hi debs morning Jeanette have you all been watching Yorkshire Yarn Fest so far then there's some been some fab things on this morning lovely to see everybody looks like we're gonna have quite a sunny weekend up here in Yorkshire for a change although it's really really windy god that's so British to talk about the weather isn't it <laughs> raining in Devon oh no sorry sorry Lizzie Right, I think I should make a start because we don't have very long. Um, this will, if I do it correctly, down, be downloaded and uploaded onto YouTube and onto the Oxyan Fest feed a bit later on. So if you join halfway through, don't worry, we'll uh, we'll crack on. Okay, so thanks everyone for um, for joining today. I hope you've had a lovely morning so far. It is, of course. Uh, Yorkshire Yarn Fest today. So I'm going to start by showing you um, the show special colourway that I've done for Yorkshire Yarn Fest this, this month, which the theme is uh, Kozelik. I'm going to butcher that word. I think it's pronounced Kozelik. Kozelik. It's a Norwegian word. Um, again, I'm not very good at explanations. Um, do look it up, but it's all about sort of cosy times, having wonderful times with family, with friends and a feeling of, of lovely contentment which is just such a lovely theme isn't it, particularly for January. Um, so I've dyed up a special colourway for that theme which you'll find in the shop. So my shop update will be going live immediately after this video, all being well, technology permitting. Um, and I've dyed up a set of mini schemes uh, for the colourway, for the Kozelig uh, theme this month. Hopefully you can see them okay there. They're blowing out ever so slightly in the sunlight because it is such a sunny day today. Um, they're a little bit deeper than this, but there you go. So a set of five mini skeins. Um, they're kind of warm, caramelly, pinky, red colours, as you can see. And they're all lightly speckled. And I just think look uh, really pretty together. So this is DK. Um, so we've got... Uh, them dyed upon DK mini skeins. This is a 20 gram mini skein, so you get 20 grams of each. Um, and I also have them on sock yarn or four ply as well. Uh, and you can see they look quite similar. Um, so yeah, you'll find those in the shop after the show. So hopefully you like those. I've um, actually pinched a, pair, uh, a set for myself already. I'm going to make some socks with it, the Ocean Drive socks. Um, I think I mentioned it on my Instagram post this morning. Um, so yeah. I think they kind of you could put them in a shawl you could put them in color work in the jumper could do pretty much everything with it um somebody commented this morning that they would look nice as a shawlography shawl or a, or a bigger item and i do have um, a pre-order listing so if you did want sort of bigger schemes then you can order those as well but just the mini sets in the shop at the moment and i do have excuse me for bobbing off the screen and for the rattling i do have a 50 gram mini set as well this is on four ply um excuse me for the plastic there um but yeah i really like 50 gram sets at the moment i'm quite into those so hence why i did those so yeah those are my show special colorways now on that theme so when the shop update goes live you'll see that i've kind of split things into collections so i've got my sort of cozy or cozily collection um so i've got the mini schemes there and i've also got some coordinating yarns which i'll show you as well so um again you'll see there's quite a lot of pink it's not all pink there's quite a lot of pink so this is called Cuddle Up and this is actually one of the colours that was in my advent um, just this Christmas, just, just gone um, and it was a really popular one. I had a few people message me about doing it as a full skein and I couldn't really resist it. Um, so this is a sock set in uh, four ply, it's also available on DK sock as well and it's called Cuddle Up and you can see you get kind of neutral mini skein there and it's quite a lovely sort of speckly peaches and beige yarn. Um, sock sets, I've got several going into the shop this weekend. This is another one in the kind of cosy section. This is called Cocktails with Friends. 
and you can see yeah I agree Lorraine there is nothing wrong with pink I do gravitate towards pink I think sometimes and this is kind of like again it's showing a little bit pinker than it is it's more of a kind of warm color um, but you can see speckles there and it's got kind of like a magenta colored mini skein so I've been reading quite a bit of Nancy Mitford recently. I don't know why, it kind of made me think of that when I was putting names together. So there's two, uh, two sort of cosy themed sock sets going in the shop. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see behind me, I've got, you can't quite see just out of shot, quite a lot of warm toned tonals that go with these as well. So you can kind of pick and mix and put your own sets together. But this is Raven Red again showing slightly lighter than it is in real life on the screen there um, conquer which is a lovely kind of very very warm reddish brown and then this kind of neutral beige i don't like the word beige but you know what i mean a very neutral kind of tone called sandy shaw sand let's call it sand instead um so yeah there's there's a sort of a, a number of neutrals there that go with the sets tool very very pale pink and this one's called cozy up and it's hard to kind of describe it's quite correct there on the screen but it's a pinky browny just a lovely warm color so i've got quite a lot of that in stock as well and all these tonals like this are available on a die to order uh, basis at any time as well so if you ever wanted to do i don't know a jumper or a cardi or something like this then you can choose whichever base that you want to in the shop and i'll dye it up for you so just out of shot here i have uh, a lot of those tonals that i just showed you a part of my uh, spring tonal range from last year um which is always very popular. So I've done some more mini sets of the full range of those tonals here. So these are the 20 gram minis. You can see, sorry for the, for the glare there, you can see there's 12 there in the set. Um, and you can also get them on 10 gram minis. So these are what the 10 gram ones look like. They're really kind of cute little bundle. And if you have a look at my grid, so Beehive Yarns on um, Instagram, you'll see that there's uh, lots of customers have made beautiful projects with these mini sets. So everything from socks and shawls and, and cowls, and I've, I've posted some photographs there, jumpers. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of these going into shop, and for the first time I have D these on DK as well. Um, so yeah, really, really cute, tiny little DK mini schemes, and also the four-ply version. So somebody just said that they like my sweater. Thank you for noticing it. So this is, just stand up a bit. This is Baroque Nouveau by Unwind Knitwear. Um, I absolutely love it. It was knit for me um, by a lovely lady called Sarah. I didn't knit it, uh, but it is made out of my yarn. And um, Rachel from Unwind Knitwear used Beehive Yarns in her original design. Um, so I'm doing kits for that in the shop at the moment. So if you are interested in knitting something like this, I've got three different colourways. Oh, let me see if I've got any here. Yeah, that's the kit that I'm wearing. Look, so it's Conquer, which I showed you a bit earlier, and Velveteen as the as the contrast. And there's a blue kit, which looks like this. And the original uh, colours that that Rachel used in the original design was um, Cemetery Gates for the main colour, and. Um, What's this one called? Golden Olive is the contrast. So yeah, those kits are available um, if you did like those in the shop. Okay, so I mentioned having different um, collections or different themes in the shop. So that's a very, very quick run through of some of the cosy style ones. Um, I've also got some more sort of enchanted or magical themed yarns. So last year at Halloween, I did a box called the Enchanted Forest Box, which is like a countdown, a little mini advent, if you like, leading up to Halloween. Um, and I loved a lot of the colours in there, so I chose three of my favourites and I've dyed those up um, on main skeins. So I'll show you those now. So we've got, uh, again, some of them are sock sets and they're available on all different all different bases. So this is a sock set. So the sun's just gone behind a cloud. Uh, this one's called Twilight Dance. So you can see it's kind of purples, bluey greys and then this ochre colour 
that kind of runs through it. So I've paired that here in a sock set with gold and olive. Um, but it's also available just the main skein on its own, a sort of DK, sparkle, sock, etc. So that's Twilight Dance. Then we've got Fairy Ring. Um, so I just knit some socks in this actually and I forgot to bring them in the room with me. I'm just finishing off the heel on, on one of them. So I'll post a picture of them later on Instagram so you can see how it knits up. Um, it's hard to get it in the right light. It's quite a, a complex colour I would say. It's quite hard to photograph. But it's got sort of this pinky brown, very pale lilac sort of lavender um, base and lots of different kind of speckles. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked the Enchanted Box. I really enjoyed putting it together. Um, I'm definitely going to do another one. But yeah, I couldn't resist bringing these back. So this one is called Fairy Ring. Um, and then the last of the three from that box I've done is called Fox Sentinel, which is very bright. So it has got, this is very bright orange. Um, I would say the main skeins are, sh are a little bit darker than is showing here, the main colours in the skein. So yeah, Fox Sentinel... Um, and it's it's foxy oranges and browns and then this kind of grey as well running through it. Um, so this is the, the sock set version which has got a, a mini skein with it. And it's also available um, on DK and other, uh, other different bases as well. So yeah, Fox Sentinel. And as I was kind of putting the yarn on my shelves last night, I was thinking to myself... Um, do any of you read the uh, Court and Roses books? I've forgotten the name of them now. Um, the Sarah Mars books. Um, I was thinking to myself, this reminds me of Lucian. If there was a if I was a colourway, this would be Lucian, and this one would be Feyre, and then this one, which is actually called Belladonna, I think, would be Rizand. But yeah, that's why I was thinking about my, thinking to myself last night. So this one is called Belladonna, like I said, and it's not a new yarn. It's one that I've had out previously but you can see it's lots of blues dark uh, navies and sort of purples and pinks so yeah sort of dark and witchy that one and that one's belladonna okay so i think those are the main um enchanted ones for those of you who don't know i do have a, a sock club or a yarn club running all this year called the enchanted yarn club I've got all, I'm surrounded just off camera by all of January's, which I need to post out today and tomorrow. Um, and I've just opened the listing for February. So if you do like kind of magical inspired yarn, um, then do have a look at that because there's some really nice colours coming up. Lots of nice imagery anyway. Um, so moving on a little bit more, I'm going to show you a couple more sock sets. I don't know quite how we are for time. Um, but yeah, this is another one that's in the shop at the moment. This is called Night Swimming. So again, available as a main skein on its own, also as a sock set. So Night Swimming and Twilight. So that's a sort of speckledy, powdery blue with greys. Um, and then this very, very pale. Oh, thank you, Denise. Yeah, very, very sort of pale, bluey grey there is the contrast. So they would make some pretty socks, I think. Um, but also, I sort of said in my newsletter yesterday, I've seen sock sets made into all sorts of different things, so cowls, shawls, um, etc. What I might do is sort of round up a few examples of other things that you can do with sock sets. Um, maybe write a little blog post or an Instagram post about it. So if you do have any examples or suggestions or things that you've created yourself or designed, then do let me know because I think it's just really interesting because they're not just for socks, are they? Although I do love knitting socks. That's Night Swimming. And then, um, last but not least in the sock sets, this is Oatmeal. I think this is my favourite, actually. So, again, Oatmeal was a, a colour I brought out last autumn. It's a very autumnal uh, set, this. Um, sort of very pale, neutral base with sort of lovely, rusty speckles. And then this, this yarn here is called Foxtails. Um, so, yeah, so that would be nice for socks like I said or, or even like a little mini shawl or something like that so that's the last of the uh, the sock sets so everything at the moment there's nothing in the shop there's a few items in the sale um which you know will remain there but as I said after after the video today then the shop will go live and everything will be going in there with is new so there's a lot of different tunnels which I haven't had a chance to show you there's a lot of kind of coordinating mohair and surrey alpaca 
um, which will go in then as well. So do have a look at it as well. Um, what The last thing I just wanted to show you today, I'm sure I've forgotten something, I don't know. Um, I've made some stitch markers, um, sort of, I guess to go with these kind of enchanted yarns really. Um, and I do love faffing about with stitch markers. Um, but yeah, these, I'll just hold them right up so you can see. There's a leaf hiding under there somewhere. There we go. So these are um, sets of five stitch markers. You get five with these lovely kind of jewel toned beads on. Um, one with a leaf on, which is for the beginning of the round, I think, you know, would, would work really well. And then a progress keeper and it's an A-gate uh, crystal progress keeper. Um, so, sorry, it's a bit awkward stuck on here. I haven't got the backing cards due to arrive in the post today for the final sets. But yeah, so that's, uh, I forgot what I call them now. I think I've called them Enchanted Jewels or something like that. So you'll find those in the shop after the, after the video. And then I have a silver version, if you kind of prefer silvery coat notions. Um, so yeah, again, sorry, you can't see them very well, but the silver one has a crescent moon and then these lovely kind of jewels and um, a progress keeper there. So those sets again will be in the shop. Okay, so I think that's me. My husband's just knocked on the door to say that my 20 minutes is up or 50 minutes is up. So I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video um, and I hope you have a rest of a lovely weekend. So thanks very much everyone. Bye bye.